Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and tonight is a flipping good night. Two guitars for either Rock Band or Guitar Hero, I'm not too sure. Freaking awesome. There's also an Xbox One Xbox. I've seriously never, ever found one of these. So really excited. Oh, it's a freaking display box. Man, I really thought it was a real one. Either way, it looks just like the real one, to be honest. Also, a controller box that's actually decently heavy, so there might be stuff in there. Maybe not a controller, but maybe batteries. You never know. And this box. There's literally something in this box rattling. It's not an Xbox One X, I can tell you that for sure, because it's, this box is not that heavy. But it's actually got a little bit of weight where it sounds like there's something rolling around inside. So, really interested, hoping to find something really cool in there. Maybe the controller for the Xbox One X, you never ever know. I mean, what are the odds? Xbox controller box, Xbox controller. Uh, you never know. I mean, I don't know. That makes no sense. And also, there's a bag underneath, if you guys can see. First things first, I want to get into these boxes. Then we'll go over the controller and then the bag. So let's jump into this. This is night 353 of GameStop Dumpster Diving. Let's check out this box first. Do, do, do. Okay, the controller is not, like I said guys, I don't know if I said this yet, I have not looked in these boxes, so I have no idea what to expect. I usually never do look in boxes, the only times I do look in boxes is if it's like a regular cardboard box, and I don't know if it's like garbage or whatnot, so I'm hopefully for the most part, employees usually put stuff in these, and they'll take it out just so it's easier to bring it to the garbage, and that's pretty much what I believe, that that's why they do that, but uh, let's check this out, batteries? Ah, oh, I've actually found batteries before, I think in one of these boxes like a long time ago. But uh, either way, it's an Xbox controller box. Really not going to keep it. It's kind of damaged over here too, so it is what it is. This, listen. There's something inside. What the heck is in this freaking box? Like, I really, and it's even open, guys. It wasn't even closed. So somebody obviously opened it up, put something inside, and just threw it out. Ooh. Ooh, so we have a mystery box, and within the mystery box is a mystery bag. Okay, usually what bags mean, if they're in boxes and whatnot, if you guys don't know, it usually means that somebody returned something, and it's a return. Like, say you went to a GameStop and you return like, a controller or something, or, I mean, a trade-in, I should say. It's a trade-in. You trade in a controller and they don't want it, but they say they'll take it anyway, and then throw it out. That's pretty much what they do, and here we go. Let's see, we got, hopefully, a controller. I'm really hoping for a controller. I have no idea. I mean, for all you know, it might even not be GameStop related. I have no idea. That seems to be it, nothing else in the box. Also the bag, like I said. But let's check this out. Okay, it is GameStop. <laughs> I was hoping, I didn't know what it was gonna be to be honest. So I was just like, okay, a little sketchy. It's obviously games, there's a Wii game right here. First things first, we have Fury for Fury Park. I have no idea. It's all damaged and stained. Oh, it's actually freaking in there too, and it's got like some stuff on it. Yeah, it's got like some paper on it or something. Whoa, the manual is all like water damaged. Uh, that is. Whoa, this thing is like a brick. What the? Oh my God, this thing is like a brick. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, well this game probably got some damage to it. Also, it looks like there's some mold maybe on the bottom there, so I don't want to touch it too much. Uh, I might not keep that case since there's like a little bit of mold on it. Mold's not good for you, obviously. But uh, there you go. That is freaking awesome. What else do we have in the bag? Okay, it's all Wii stuff. We got a Wii stand plus a... Not too sure. Something for a Wii, it looks like, because it's white. We got a bunch of... all oh, these make sense. Aren't these for these? This is for the Beatles Rock Band. Okay, no, yeah, aren't these like receivers? Don't, wait, do they have special guitars for Beatles Rock Band? I have no idea. Either way, I got one of those. Two of those. These are like the receivers or whatever for the wireless. Oh, but these aren't wireless. These are wired. What the heck? I'm so confused. I don't know. Uh, Tony Hawk Ride. Sounds like it's broken. Something rattling inside. Another Tony Hawk one. Got a Wii controller skin. Another Wii controller skin. And another Wii controller skin. <laughs> so a bunch of stuff in that box. That's actually pretty cool, to be honest. Got that bag over there, don't want that. And now let's look at the controllers. Sadly, I do want to let you guys know something about the controllers really, uh, not the controllers, the uh, guitars really fast. I accidentally got them wet. <laughs> if you could see, I was actually doing something with water over here. Spilled a bunch of water right over here. And I accidentally, these were literally sitting here for a second. That's why I moved everything over. Uh, the bag didn't get wet. The guitars got wet, sadly. Just a little bit. So I mean, it's not like a crazy amount of like uh, wetness that it will damage them. I can just clean it up with a paper towel. 
but just to let you guys know that's why they look a little wet but uh yeah like it's a little wet over there and the rest of it's fine it's just like the neck of it i don't know what you call that and uh, over here she's got a little water over here it's it's fine though but uh either way a freaking guitar hero guitar or rock band or, or something i'm not too sure it's got a bunch of stickers on it evanescence freaking cool that's really cool. It looks like the cable is all intact. It looks like it's missing the part where it plugs into the uh, a USB, like the like the quick connect thing, Bajiggy. Don't know what it's called, but it looks like it's missing that. This one has it. Whatever this is, that you plug it in. You see, how, like I got the wire wet and whatnot, but it's fine. Accidents happen, guys. But still, really freaking awesome. This one has the wire. It looks like it's complete. Yep, it looks like it's complete. That is freaking awesome. So two guitars. Not too sure what guitar game they're from, but uh, I never really got into. I have played Guitar Hero and Rock Band. I just forget which one's from which. And also really weird. I don't think they're from the Beatles Rock Band, but those things are those receivers. Either way, though, really cool stuff so far. A freaking jackpot night. And now let's see what's in the bag. Also, if you guys didn't know, I actually ended up buying the Xbox One X. If you guys want to see the unboxing for this, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out, if you want to see what it's all about and whatnot. Oh, Speedy Cat. <gasps> I just saw him. I knew he was outside, but he, I called his name before and he didn't come. He's chilling on the deck. But uh, either way, I don't want to go bother him. Let's open this bag up. First things first, I hear a really loud truck outside, and second thing secondly, I even saw a game right here. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. A PS Vita box. It's not that heavy, but I think I've only ever found one of these ones before. These, I don't find these boxes like ever. This just got interesting. Like, very interesting. Okay, no PS Vita inside, sadly. Really hoping there was. But uh, either way, PS Vita box, I might actually keep that because I don't find those that often. A uh, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark sleeve. Also a GameCube, yeah, sort of GameCube stuff over here. What is, ooh, and a phone box. Whoa, tonight is literally a mystery of just a bunch of different stuff. I actually own this game, I think for like PlayStation. Uh, may, I, maybe I do own it for GameCube, I don't know. I remember this game though, Tack and the Power of the Juju. It looks like it has all the freaking man- Wow, what? See, this is when manuals were really thick and really good. They actually taught you stuff. Now manuals teach you nothing. And it is like, it's just so pointless. But, either way, freaking awesome. Like, literally games still give you manuals, but they don't tell you anything. So it's like, why even give a manual if they're not gonna give you information about the game? Like, this is before, like, if you want to find out cheat codes, or you want to find out, like, glitchy- they not even glitchy, it's just like, uh, stuff that was interesting and you couldn't find out on the internet, you looked it up in these, which are freaking awesome. Uh, ooh! What? Wait, tell me the manuals. No freaking way, all the- oh, it's got a hole in the back. No! This is freaking awesome! Mario Party 4 for the GameCube, that is late. Got the little thing there. We also have a phone. Oh my god. Oh, I thought the freaking phone was in there. The water bottle was in there. I'm like, this thing is so heavy. But I was holding it like this. Oh man. Galaxy 7 S7. Not in there, just a uh, empty box. I'm not gonna keep it. Another agua bottle. And if you guys do end up seeing gift cards and like things like these and stuff that gift cards come inside, there's no money on them, even though it might say that there's money on them. There's not. Just to let you guys know. And it looks like that is it for tonight. And what is this? Uh, Mountain Dew. Okay. But uh, either way, not sponsored. Well, let's get into the little recap for tonight. Actually, I'm not even a little recap. It's a freaking mega haul. Like, this is a mega haul right here. Two freaking guitars, a bunch of Wii accessories. Uh, sadly, no Wii. Haven't found a Wii in a very, very long time. But I, when I did find them, like, last year, it was like, I'd find, like, three in, like, a week. It was, like, nuts. But uh, either way, PS Vita, uh box case thing but you get right there a couple of these for the freaking original gamecube which is awesome the one and only gamecube the coolest freaking console i think it's literally just a cube and it could play such like and it had like small discs and stuff so freaking cool so i guess ahead of its time in a way i guess everything's kind of ahead of its time but either way there's the only game tonight is fury fury park that actually looks like it has some mold on the bottom of it but uh, yeah, either way, the game is in there, which is awesome. I'm gonna have to clean that off and whatnot, clean my hands. Uh, there is a Wii stand, a couple Wii skins as well for the controllers. Uh, this one with the little thingamajiggy on the bottom, I forget what that's called. This, which I'm not too sure what kind of Wii thing this is too. Maybe like a Wii, 
a gun or something. I, I really have no idea. And all of these receivers for like Rock Band and whatnot and Tony Hawk Ride. These right here, like I said, and the freaking guitars, which are so cool. They did get a little wet, like I said. This one's for the Xbox 360, and this one's for the Xbox 360. So both Xbox 360 related, which is awesome. Thank you all for watching. If you guys want to, you can check out the last video over there, most recommended video over there. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and subscribe to the Speedy Diver. <clears throat> I do apologize if I sounded a little different in this video. I am actually extremely, extremely tired. Like I am, you don't even know. Like I am running on like, I think like two hours of sleep right now. Very, very tired. So if I said anything strange, I apologize. Just as a future thing. I don't like to really edit these videos too, too much because I like to show you guys the true, like what the heck is going on and you guys get the full experience. Because if I edited it out, like everything, it would just be like, I found this, found this, found this, found this. It's like, Wow, that, that wasn't interesting. You found stuff, but like, where was the wow factor, you know? So either way, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys really understand uh, where I'm coming from when I say all that stuff. But either way, you guys can also check out my gaming channel. Link in the description. I really appreciate it. Just hit over 70,000 subscribers on the Speedy Gamer channel. Thank you so much. And also on this channel, I really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I really do from the bottom of my heart. I do mean it. And I hope you guys can appreciate that. Love you guys so much. And I'll catch you on the flip side.